at Mount St. Sepulchre Monastery in Washington, D.C., a few kilometers from Capitol Hill, people are mostly dressed in brown robes called habits, not power suits. But another kind of attire is also required. This Franciscan monastery is home to a small beekeeping operation that produces honey for sale. Chris Skirkolk is a member of the monastery's garden guild. He is also one of its beekeepers. He says he enjoys tending to his hive. It's kind of peaceful, you know, you watch them fly in and out and you know that they're out there doing their, their work and uh, you know, it's, it's just nice. And another kind of cool thing is keeping bees within the city, which I think is, uh, you know, it's just something different. You know, not, not a lot of people keep bees inside of a city like D.C. Skirkolk inherited an interest in beekeeping from his mother and stepfather, who are amateur beekeepers in North Carolina. He took a class before starting his own hive, but found significant differences between theory and practice. Understanding what you're supposed to do is a lot different than all of a sudden these bees are swarming around you and you're trying to like do something and you're trying to smoke them and you're trying to like calm them down and then you're starting to get stung and you don't want to freak out because if you freak out then the bees freak out even more. Keeping the bees calm is crucial because homes are close by. The bees can travel over five kilometers to gather nectar. Skirkolk says he doesn't worry about them bothering local residents. I don't think the neighbors really worry because I don't think they actually know. Uh, I don't think they would, would worry. I mean, the bees, there's bees around anyway. I mean, our bees, their bees, you know, wild bees. It's not, uh, they're not harming anybody. And the neighbors enjoy the honey. It's harvested once a year, and the monastery says it sells out almost as soon as the jars hit the shelves in the gift shop. All proceeds benefit the monastery. Brad Zarevitz for VOA News, Washington.